Section 10 of My Bible History New Testament by Bishop Morrow. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Jesus and the Devil. After Jesus was baptized, the Holy Spirit led him out into the desert near the Jordan. There he fasted forty days and forty nights. During all that time he ate nothing and became hungry. Then the devil came to tempt him. If you are the Son of God, said he, command that these stones become loaves of bread. Jesus answered, Not by bread alone does man live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Taking Jesus up to Jerusalem, the devil set him on the highest point of the temple. Far below them they could see the crowds going back and forth about their work. The devil said to Jesus, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written that God will give his angels charge over you. They shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus replied, It is also written that you shall not tempt the Lord your God. The devil, however, was not to be discouraged so easily. Once more he tried to tempt Jesus. Taking him to a very high mountain, he showed him all the great kingdoms of the world and their glory. He said, All these things will I give you, all their power and glory, if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus replied, Be gone, Satan. You shall worship only the Lord your God. You shall serve him alone. Defeated in his purpose, the devil went away. Angels came to serve Jesus. Jesus left the desert and returned to the country about the Jordan. He passed by the place where John was preaching and baptizing. Seeing Jesus coming, John turned to the crowds around him, pointed to Jesus, and said, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me there comes one who has been set above me, because he was before me. I baptize with water, so that he may be known. I have borne witness that this is the Son of God. End of section 10